Yes, I know so. And, and, and it's even, they, 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 um, it, it's sort of a perfect timing because people have just gone from work and some people were going past the, the uh, government borders and uh, um, most people are on holiday here. Um, I guess almost everyone. So, so there's not not much collateral damage, but enough to you know uh, make it a big event. Um, incredible, incredible. Uh, Bob Chapman's with us every Friday. He seems to always be on when news is breaking, and uh, and then again gets cut short. I want to. Bob may have to leave at the end of the hour, but we're going in to the fourth hour for PrisonPlanet.tv viewers and Infowars audio stream listeners. If stations want to carry it, it's on the satellite, and they can get it if they want live coverage of this. But Bob. Look, I need listeners not to toot my horn, but to get all the videos where I lay out exactly how this would start. And and if it turns out they say it's white Al-Qaeda, you know, folks, they're dropping the hammer. They're going to start the arrest, the roundups. I mean, we this means they're getting ready to start a World War III scenario and use it to crack down on domestic groups. Bob Chapman, do you have any comments or questions for Robert, who narrowly survived the blast? Well, as I see it, uh, if Rob, it had been 20 seconds to a minute uh, earlier, uh, he might have been really caught in the blast. Uh, I have a question. Uh, do you know what participation Norway took in the recent meetings which involved the bailout of Greece, if any? Uh I can hear Bob perfectly. The, the network's telling me they can't hear him. Uh, yeah, I can hear him fine, too. I mean, I'm getting full audio piped in, but they say they can't hear him. Uh, did you hear that question, Robert? Yes, I did, sir. Um, uh, he, he asked whether uh, our participation in, in the EU, um, um, there's a bailout of, of Europe. and They're calling it a Marshall Plan for Europe, um, a new Marshall Plan that means you know, almost uh, a new plan economy uh, where we support, we give more money to the EU every year, I think, than, than most of the countries because of our participation. We, we um, uh, inherit every law. Uh, we don't say no to, to any of the laws they pass. So, so we're uh, as incorporated as, you know, it's possible to be without having the uh, currency and um, the benefits of, of uh, being in the halls of Brussels. So, um, and you know, our economy is is big in, in comparison. We're a small country, but but big in oil. So, uh, I'm sort of uh, called an educated guess, uh, saying that that we have um, um, at least influences with with the the um, decision to bail out. Um, I mean, Bob, Bob Chapman, I mean, look at the timing of this. And now they're telling us, hey, it's a blonde-haired Al-Qaeda. I mean, this, uh, this is incredible scripting, Bob. Well, what I'm getting at here is the bankers were extremely irate that they had to come up with 21% of the value of the bonds that they were holding. In other words, they took a 20% loss in their bonds, and they're going to have to go in and back up the market to the tune of about $500 billion. Stay there. So now it's time to turn the jihadis loose on Europe to teach them to lick banker boots better? Exactly. All right, stay there. Stay there. We'll see if Robert can stay there. Paul Watson's coming in. Uh, this is all breaking, ladies and gentlemen. We're going into overdrive. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Infowars.com, TV. The six big mega banks, Bob Chapman riding a shotgun with us. So busy during the breaks, I didn't ask him if we could stay into the next hour to take your calls. Paul Watson joining us via video Skype. Had him holding for 20 minutes. I need to punch him out of here quick so he can write articles so they can go out to the four winds of the web. It is important we get on top of this story now. I also want to get into the economy later in the next hour. Let me ask Bob Chapman before we let Robert go, because I know he's got to get to his civil defense. He's part of the defense system there, just I guess like Switzerland. And a lot of those uh, countries have that. Um, Bob, can you ride shotgun in the next hour? Absolutely. Okay, good, because I, I, we need to talk to you, but obviously this is breaking right now, but uh, you are particularly suited for 50 years talking about stage terror and stage crises and don't let a good crisis go to waste. Finishing up with Robert, I want to illustrate that even though terrorism is incredibly rare, 
uh, and in most cases it is staged. There are real attacks. They're never coordinated. They're never multiple events. I mean, it, it, they do go on. There are real people that hit soft targets. They see it as a military operation because they don't have Abrams tanks and F-16s. You can call them terrorists. You can call them freedom fighters. Uh, the point is, is that they do exist. Now, the bigger issue here is most events are provocateur, patsied, or purely staged. This is, it has the hallmarks of a purely staged event, just as a snapshot look at it. And the key time when it's happening, I said, as the implosions happen, they will try to menace people into gathering around the government, changing the subject from the banksters. We have predicted it with total precision. Soft targets, white Al-Qaeda, because of the pre-scripting. Again, they think you're dumb, but Robert... Even though it's incredibly rare, still it shows how it could happen to anybody. Here you are, a listener. Here you are researching false flag and how important it is to the geopolitical strategy and stratagems and gambits of the controllers. And here you are barely surviving it, but thank God you survived and are able to report to us, just like Kurt Haskell and his wife, who saw the U.S. government get Mutalib on the plane I'm getting chills right now, and the FBI came and visited him, tried to get him to change his story, and a month and a half later, it came out that everything he said here was true. I'm getting chills. I wish it was some guy from Africa. That's not scary, statistically, but that the government would be doing this is scarier than you know what. Robert, uh, do you have any comments on this, you know, on the, on the fact that how weird it is that you're a listener and this happened? Well, I guess we have listeners everywhere. Of course. I mean, watching the news now, they say four, at least, uh, uh, at least four, five people shot at this, at this youth, innocent political camp. You know, there's no marching and banners. They're just having tents and just like a, uh, a festival. And then some guy, you know, dressed up as police officer goes and, you know, just throws them down with a machine gun. Uh, uh, it's... Yeah, let's not forget that. He was reportedly dressed as a policeman. I was so sorry. They said he lost his cap so that they could clearly see uh, who he was. Oh, of course, the blonde hair. And for folks that don't know how this works, they can have a special ops deep cover guy like McVeigh tell him to do it and then set him up later. Or they can have a lookalike like uh, Lee Harvey Oswald. And this stuff's come out. This is how, Bob Chapman, you worked in... Black Ops. We're going to get Dr. Steve Pachenik on. That is absolutely needed for Sunday. You worked in Black Ops. I mean, this is on record that they operate like this. As a snapshot, Bob Chapman, what do you say uh, looking at this right now? Well, it's hard to tell their objective because we don't know really where they're going with this. But because of what's going on in Europe, I see it through that lens, and, and that is... The bankers have had to capitulate. First, they were going to take all of the things that Greece had. Then they were going to take a couple of things. Now they're not going to take anything. And in the, in the meantime, the German public has demanded that the German government make the bankers participate. They're the ones that caused the problem, and they're the ones that are sitting on a good part of the bonds. So... The bankers are going to have to come up, and this is a menial amount as far as I'm concerned, but they don't like it, and that's about 21% of their participation, which means they're taking a 20% haircut on what they already own and probably will own in the future uh, with this refunding of Greece. And I think they're furious about it. And some of this stuff is open-ended. Uh, we have this... Um, uh, European Monetary Fund, which says the bankers are going to have to come up with uh, 20 billion immediately uh, by exchanging bonds, which would mean they take the old bonds in, put and let the Greeks put out new bonds that have a 50 or 15 or 30 year life. But what's even more interesting is that the buyback program is still to be outlined by the governments. And that means that they're going to have to come up with a lot more money where in, in the first place they thought they were going to loot the country, Greece. And so I think that could 
be part of what's going on. Okay, we're going to talk more about that in the next hour with Bob Chapman and your calls. If you want to join us on air, it's 1-800-259-9231, 1-800-259-9231. Bob Chapman of the International Forecaster.com. We're going to Paul Watson, uh, editor of PrisonPlanet.com, in just a moment. But going back to Robert, a survivor Anything else you'd like to add before I have Paul ask you a question, then we'll let you go. But I definitely want to check in with you again coming up in uh, 48 hours uh, or so on the Sunday 4 to 6 broadcast. I think that's very important. We'll, we'll know a lot more by then. I pray this is real terrorist. That's a lot less scary than state-sponsored. And someday we may find that four-leaf clover because, you know, it, 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 it's, it's terrorism's bad, but I really wish it was lone nut Muslims and not the military-industrial complex, uh, th th that's a lot more frightening. And so please, God, let it be Muslim extremists, please. But <laughs> we may find that unicorn here. Now, uh, uh, anything else, Robert, you'd like to add before Watson asks a question? I, I would just like to say that I totally agree with you. I, I just uh, hope that this is done by terrorists. Um, but I have a, a very sneaking suspicion that it's not. Um, I... Also, thank you for um, um, taking this call and, and uh, uh, keeping on, you know, uh, presenting the message because uh, so many people don't know what's going on here and, you know, everywhere else. But, but when things like this happen and uh, there are so many uh, co coincidences, you know, uh, the prime minister on, on some... some um, uh, summer TV show last night talking about the future and, and saying well, they had a plan and so on and this happens. Um, now it's just uh, Oh, so he's been on TV talking about we're going to protect you from terrorists and then they hit. Well, no, not about terrorists, but uh, yes, against financial terrorism or against uh, um, just protect the Norwegian people against, you know, all the, the uh, yeah. foreign I had seen in some blurbs that, uh, that that actually some of the bankers have been mad at him for not wanting or, or them, your government, to contribute more money. But but I mean, was that disinfo? You're saying your leader is uh, is uh, is pretty bad news. Um, I'm not sure, but but you know they're uh, they have, I guess, the same leaders as your leaders. So, um, that's the way it seems, anyway. Yeah, no, it's it's unified fraud. In your films, you have, uh, um, I recognize Norwegian politicians uh, from the Bilderberg meetings and, and so on. So, you know, you know how, how it is. Um, Absolutely. So Let's bring Paul Watson in, then we'll get more of a report from Bob Chapman and Paul. I'll let Paul get back to writing big breaking news at prisonplanet.com. Paul Watson joining us via video Skype. Do you have any questions for Robert, a, a, a survivor, uh, a narrow survivor, blown back by the blast? 200 feet away, walking towards it when it happened. He's got to be thinking his lucky stars, his guardian angel. Uh, in fact, Robert, are you thinking your guardian angel right now? Or, or I mean, there are no atheists in foxholes. Are, 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 are you feeling blessed right now that you're alive? <laughs> well, yes, certainly. So, so yes, my, my guardian angels are, are uh, getting traced at the moment. Oh, wonderful. Paul Watson, any comments for Robert or questions? Yeah, well, it was reported by both the Daily Mail and a Norwegian commenter who left a comment on our article that, and this is what pops out, is the fact that, you know, if terrorists want to kill as many people as possible, which is presumably their motive, then apparently it's today is a public holiday in Norway, so that building was mostly empty. Yeah, why bomb what, a government building on a holiday? Uh, vacation. I mean, people are, aren't back for two weeks, for one week back. I mean, there's no one here. The city is empty. Um, the, the government building is empty. It was just sitting on TV yesterday telling about how everyone's on vacation. Um, so, so I, I mean, why would a terrorist not? I, I won't, you know, but yeah, it's, it's strange. It's very um, uh, unnerving. Paul Watson, continue with questions. Well, I mean, there's three very good reasons why Norway would be in line for a slap on the wrist from these globalists. I mean, it's a country that's not in the EU, so it's not part of that Bilderberg inner circle. Number one, two months ago, they froze a $42 million 
payment to Greece saying that they're not going to give them any more money. That would have, have upset the people organising the bailout. Number two, they supported a, a Palestinian state, which is going to be up for a vote at the UN in September. So the Arabs attack them. I mean, give me a break.